Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you're all well. It is haul day. So I have an H&M haul for you today. As I mentioned in my last haul, which was a Zara haul with a twist, the twist was that I am not doing the traditional type of haul that I used to do where I got maybe 10 pieces and just showed you so much and I just thought it was a bit too much. And I think as we're all getting a little bit more conscious of things around us and sustainability, I think it's important to reflect that in my content and my hauls. So you'll notice a lot of my styling videos and things like that centre around one piece or how many different ways to wear something and so I'm carrying that through to my hauls and if you can hear the rain in the background that's because it's just started pouring down with rain how annoying I'm gonna show you I've got five pieces on the rail here that I got from H&M new season which is always very exciting I feel like the shops are just starting to come into the new season stuff a little bit so I'm going to share that with you and some classic pieces that you can wear over and over as usual. So as I did with my last Zara haul I'm going to style each piece in different ways so you can kind of see how it might fit into your wardrobe and how you might wear that piece rather than showing you tons of items worn in one way. So the first thing I'm going to start with is this gorgeous H&M skirt and it's 19.99 so what a bar Bargain. I got this in a size 10 I think but it is gorgeous like this A-line skirt and the other day I did a fashion Q&A on Instagram if you don't follow me on there my handle is at the DJ and Tomlinson and I often do like fashion Q&A's so people can ask me their questions about fashion or like they've got an event coming up what can they wear blah 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 so a lot of people ask about workwear so I did some outfits and I included in it a faux leather like a-line skirt we're seeing a lot of these around along with pleated leather skirts and also like pencil leather skirts too but i love this one this is gorgeous for work i think it would look so nice if you're in more of a casual environment it would look nice with trainers if you're in a smarter environment maybe some block heeled boots but yeah i think this is really flexible you can't go wrong with black it goes with everything and this would look lovely belted i think as well to balance out the a-line maybe a puff sleeve it would work with a blazer a sweatshirt would look really nice it would look nice with the next piece i'm going to show you actually and for 19.99 such a good price um for such a lovely piece that could work so well in your wardrobe and i don't think a lot of people would think to pick up maybe a leather skirt but actually it is a lot more versatile than you would imagine. So next up is this cotton grey mall sweatshirt. It is $29.99 so perhaps a little bit more expensive for a sweatshirt but what I like about this is the detail in the sleeves like these gorgeous kind of almost puff sleeves but not quite and I think this would look so nice in fact well I'll do it for the cutaways with this skirt i just love the idea of juxtaposing the more casual sweatshirt with a kind of more formal slightly more formal um midi skirt so i absolutely love this looks so nice at the weekend just worn casually with some nice trousers trainers and a straight coat and yeah i think for me because we're at that stage where it's still quite cold outside so we're still buying more warm things i think sweatshirts are the way to go because i don't think we always necessarily want to invest in chunky knitwear at this time of year and to be honest there's not that much around so sweatshirts are a great thing to pick up at this time of year because you know you'll really get your wear out of them and you can wear them right through spring and summer too definitely summer if you're in england so yeah i love this piece and light like gray i think suits a lot of different people as well so next are these wide trousers in like a beige and these were $39.99 so definitely a little bit more expensive for H&M again but I think this is worth it. It feels more luxe, it's lovely lyocell fabric and just think it, the shape and cut of it is a bit more thought out and fashion forward but saying that I think you can really easily wear them with a lot of different pieces like you can just work them into your normal wardrobe they'd look great with a black top like this with some heels maybe or again with trainers boots at the moment and yeah I think they're a really nice shade to carry you through into spring they're a nice kind of soft Mm, what kind of shade would you call this it's almost borderline greeny beige which would make it look really nice with greens and different tones like that 
but also pink I think would look really lovely with it and all your normal neutral colour palette. I've been on the lookout for different types of trousers because I feel like I always gravitate towards the same thing. So I thought I'd give these a try and see if I can work them into my wardrobe and make them look a little bit more unusual but still something that I can wear a lot. So next, it's pink, which is a little bit different for me. This is a silk blend t-shirt for $24.99 and pink is going to be a big colour. It already is at the moment, but pink is kind of colour of the season along with lilac and I think this looks so good with camel. Love pink and camel so much. Um, when I went on the Arquette website recently, I saw that they were doing like pink tops with more camely beigey trench coats and it just works so well so I thought this would be a really nice layering piece under camel blazers and trench coats or camel trousers and it's one of those colour combinations that is less expected but also really kind of high end and there was a lot of that around the street style at Milan Fashion Week and different places like that so I think this is going to be a big trend that we're going to see going forward into the new season and because it's just a t-shirt you don't feel like you're investing so much into a bright colour that you might not get as much wear out of so yeah and it also feels gorgeous with it being silk blend. So the last piece I have is this imitation leather shirt jacket and this was $39.99 I think but it's nice and heavy so you can really wear it as a proper coat especially as it gets a little bit warmer layer it up and perfect as outerwear but also undercoats for now just maybe over a t-shirt put that on then put a coat on over the top but I just thought we're seeing so much leather around oh it's got pockets added bonus we're seeing so much leather around and definitely seeing a lot of neutral leather going into spring so I think that's really going to be something we'll see a lot of and also black leather Yes, I absolutely love it, I wear it to death, but sometimes I just feel like I've worn black leather too much, so it's nice to go on to a different shade, and leather is just such a cool fabric, I could just feel like it instantly makes any outfit look cool, and this would look really nice with denim, or you know, so many different shades this would go with. So definitely neutral leather is a good one to buy, and I got this in a size small as well. So I hope you've enjoyed my haul and different ways that we can style these things. As I said, I didn't want to go over the top with buying and they're just kind of key pieces, key trends that I am kind of seeing popping up and I think are good pieces to buy for the upcoming season. So if you haven't already subscribed, I know I say it every time, but I'd love it if you did. I think we're I don't know whether we will be at it when this video goes live, but we're approaching 40,000 on YouTube, which was definitely a goal of mine kind of at the beginning of the year to reach 40,000 by March. And we're on March. So if you haven't subscribed, I'd absolutely love it if you did. You know, we've got to celebrate every little milestone. Also, go and follow me on Instagram at Lydia Jane Tomlinson, which I already mentioned. You'll probably see me styling some of these bits and pieces over on there as well in the next coming weeks. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!